Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Thanks for logging on to NorthwestOhio.com. We got some big changes to talk about as we roll our way into the new work week. It wasn't too bad out there for our Sunday. It did start off a little bit cloudy, but those clouds did start to break as we rolled our way through the day. So we did see some sunshine out there. There's an exiting system pushing its way up into the new New England states and eastern Canada. We're mostly under the influence of high pressure, and we are expecting a relatively calm night as we roll our way through the overnight hours Sunday into early Monday morning morning, but lurking off to the northwest. Another cold front is starting to take shape over the upper Midwest, and this is what's going to be moving through during the day on Monday, and it's going to bring a very, very large blast of Arctic air, some of the coldest air that we've seen. You could also see a little bit in the way of some precipitation starting to form up towards northern Minnesota and North Dakota, and yes, there will be some chances for some snowflakes as we work our way on into the day on Monday. But we'll break that down here in just a moment. For the rest of your Sunday night into early Monday morning, we do expect clouds to start gradually increasing as we head through the overnight period as that system starts to approach. We're not expecting any precipitation though as we go through the overnight. It's also been kind of blustery here for the past few days, but those winds will be relaxing as we head through the overnight. So for the most part, looking fairly calm as you sleep this evening. Temperatures bottoming out just above freezing at 33 degrees. But as we go into the day on Monday, here's where all this starts to change. We do expect a generally dry morning, so the morning commute looks a OK. But once we get to around lunchtime, that's when we expect some rain. It's going to start as rain to start pushing its way into southeast Michigan and northwest Ohio. Temperatures are going to top out in the mid 40s right around noon, but they will be falling as we go through the afternoon hours as that colder air starts to push its way in. And as we cool off, that rain will start to switch over to more of a rain snow mix and probably right around the PM rush hour. We do expect sort of a changeover to all snow, not going to be a huge winter storm. This is not going to be really much of a shovelable snow either. That said, a dusting to one inch and I want to say one inch is the highest amounts we're expecting. And that's going to be more isolated in terms of those accumulations. Most of us are expecting about a half inch or less. And again, a lot of places will likely just see a dusting on the grassy surfaces. That said, roadways will get a little bit slippery, especially on those overpasses and bridges. So just be anticipating that as we work our way into our Monday evening. The rain and snow will come to an end as we go through the overnight Monday. We do dry out for the day on Tuesday, but look at that cold air. Low temperatures Tuesday morning in the low to mid 20s. We're only going to see highs in the mid 30s for Tuesday afternoon. Mid 30s is closer to our average low temperature for this time of year. So a definite blast of cold air, but we do dry out for the really for the remainder of the work week. We do start to warm ourselves up gradually getting back into the 40s by the time we get to Thursday, mid 40s for Friday and even getting back into the 50s by next weekend. But the trade off with that warmer air returning is going to be some good chances for some rain as we head into next weekend and even into the beginning of next week. We could even reach all the way into the 60s by the start of the following week, but that won't last for long as yet another Arctic blast will be possible by the middle of the following week. So we're definitely starting that roller coaster ride of temperatures here over the next several days. That's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Thanks for logging on to NorthwestOhio.com.